landed three effective punches to the head. And I think one of them, the, uh, the one of the doctors is over there looking at Cesar Bazan. If you can't stop him, we can't stop him. Okay. Don't let him use those tricks. Cheap tactics. Round eight scheduled for 12 for Las Vegas. Cotos in the red trunks. Bazan's in the white trunks. We're seeing a lot of swelling on the right eye. I think it happened. The damage was done right at the end of round seven. But Bazan's going to keep coming as long as they'll let him come. And the crowd is responding because now there's some punches being thrown effectively. Bazan's right eye beginning to shut. Yes, it is. Hard left hand over the top for Cotto. Oh. Another hard jab for Cotto. Cotto coming into this round with some bad intentions. Oh. That's that Cotto punch you were talking about. Yeah, it's a, it's a jab, but it's a hard jab, so I count it as a power punch. Oh. Left, left, right. Left, left, right. Bazan trying to find a way to answer. Toby Gibson looking at that right eye of Cesar Bazan. He's going to keep an eye on it. The referee beginning to understand that Bazan has absorbed a lot of punches. You have to ask yourself, how much more can he take? Well, that's what Toby Gibson will probably be asking. He wants to take a look at it. I, I knew it. I saw it coming. Eh, crowd doesn't like it. Cesar doesn't like it either. They ask him how many fingers. The doctor asked him how many fingers. He said, Dose, and here we go. I guess he figured he spoke English, right? Yeah, but I'm going to tell you something. Now Cesar knows he's got to land a big yeah. punch. And he's Time coming could be running him. out. Time could be running out. That eye is almost closed. I don't see any stress on the part of Miguel Cotto, really, do you? I see a little blood trickling now. In, uh, He's had some blood in his nose, that's about it. Yeah. But this is the kind of fight for Miguel Cotto that would propel him to even bigger heights. He's been challenged tonight. This has not been a walk by any stretch. Good combination inside. And he's Cotto. answering the question we posed at the beginning. Too much, too soon? Absolutely not. Beethoven was born to play the piano. Miguel Cotto was born to box. Absolutely. There was a left that came from a funny angle. Cesar Pazan trying to open that left eye as wide as he can. He's in danger now, of getting close to that danger point where he could seriously be hurt. Tony Gibson looking at that eye very closely. Going to make sure he doesn't get himself in position to see it, to get hit with a punch that he never saw. As I said, that damage done at the end of round seven. And they're going to take a good hard look at that eye, I think, in the corner. Toby's very concerned about it, as is everybody. He doesn't want to see a great fighter get hurt. And here we go. Okay, hold this for me. You're not insisting at all. Go to the body. You need to insist. Go to the body. Harder, harder. Push harder. With that same intensity, you got to punch your opponent. And now he's going to that blind spot. Yeah. Love that jab. Third right. You're not throwing anything. Okay. Uh, Let's go out there and finish him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing out loud. Go out and finish him and say Easy for you to say. He just started laughing. He says, have you been watching this fight? <laughs> what fight are you watching? Oh, that was a great moment. Going to round nine potential for 12. And you saw the fact that Toto has landed 
50 percent of his punches. Oh my. I mean that's just I got to give his own credit. That was a moment of light humor. I wonder if Paul Rodriguez heard that and he got a kick out of that. <laughs> Go out and finish him and Cesar just starts laughing. <laughs> that eye is looking really ugly. Oh, some serious power by Cotto. Swinging for the fences now. He could have been a baseball player had it not been for the fact that he was overweight when he was 12 years old, 12, 13. He weighed 140 pounds, went to the gym to drop some weight, and here you have him. There you have him. Great athlete. Bazan trying to press the issue here, and who can blame him? He's. He's on the clock now with that eye. Toby Gibson giving it just really keeping it. There's a pretty good right hand. It just missed from Bazan. What, what a determined fighter he is. He's, he's eating a lot of those jabs and look at Koto get in there in his power stance and try to unload. And at this point you have to assume that there's really no point of this fight continuing. Hassan can't hurt him. He's not going to win by points. And getting to that point, Mario. Beginning to believe that, but you see the, the point is that Bazan keeps keeps throwing hard punches. He's just eating three for every one he throws. You want to give a guy every opportunity if he can land that big punch. But I just don't see any duress on the part of Cotto. He's got some blood on his lips, so he has been hit tonight. And they've worked on his nose a couple of times. Also got to be frustrating every time you throw a power punch and the opponent doesn't even flinch. Oh, walk right into that. Now there's a body shot to Bazan. You have to wonder how much long you can take this abuse. Hard body shots. He's going to be so much in pain the rest of this week and maybe in the next week. I mean, he is really taking it out there today. Now blood coming from the nose of Cesar Bazan. Nose and mouth. Now, well, we're going to be going. Breathe, breathe. Again. And again. Okay, let's bring, bring down that temperature. Go to the head. A little bit of Vaseline. Replays here. Cotto still very accurate. It's chopping right hand over the top is just wicked. Then more punishment. Oh. Every time Azan opens up, right down the pipe. Yep. Try to. Are you trying too much with your right? You gotta move your head and throw down. Downstairs. Okay, let's go, come on. It's now or never. Yeah, it's getting to that point. Now or never. Round 10. Paul Rodriguez, are you listening? I'm with you. I'm telling you, Bassan is starting to look a lot like a cartoon character here. I mean, uh, that that face right there is uh, for a second there I thought it was Manuel Mantecas Medina out there, and on the other hand, Cotto looks like he uh, he hasn't even broken a real good sweat. It's it's a uh, it's a one-sided it's a shutout, but you gotta uh, give a lot of kudos to Basan. He's got great heart, and you know uh, he could land that uppercut, and, and uh, things could change. That's what's so interesting about this uh, match. Well, you're exactly right, Paul. Not a lot of duress on the part of Cotto, and meanwhile. We got a, just a mess of a face that only a mother could love brewing up here, right, Paul? That's absolutely right. <laughs> I don't think his mom would recognize him right now. He looks like something out of Madame Trousseau's Wax Museum here, Quasimodo. He looks like Mo on The Simpsons. <laughs> well, you know what's funny is that he keeps opening that left eye so wide that he's. Uh, I just hope he doesn't. Uh, 
No, but he doesn't have a tape of this fight, and he doesn't speak English. This is gonna make me look like that, but no, he's got, Mexican fighters are known for great heart. And uh, the thing about Puerto Rican fighters is that uh, they just have a, a tremendous legacy of, of terrific champions. Exactly right. Thank you, Paul. Oh, that was a hard right hand that staggered Bazan for just a second. He absolutely cannot see out of his right eye. Mario is just is completely gone. And also tremendous rivalry between Mexican and uh, Puerto Rican boxers. Break. And Bazan does speak some English. He lives in El Paso. He fought uh, Stevie Johnston there in uh, 98 in the uh, Delaware Carpentier That's uh, right. undercard. And he met his girlfriend there, who lives in El Paso, have a baby, not married yet. And that's when he pulled off the upset, the split decision over Stevie Johnston. Mm -hmm. That was in 1998, which kind of rocked the whole division when he took over. So he scored twice. Exactly. And he's still throwing. And as, as Paul Rodriguez put it out, I mean, just, it's all heart. I mean, it's all heart. Which is a great tradition of Mexican fighters. You know, they know they're in the hurt business. Hazan came in with 188 more rounds of experience, and this is good for Goto. Never gone beyond eight, uh, actually 10 rounds. Only the fight against John Brown went to 10. Went to 10, and Hazan is the sense of urgency. Still trying to throw. Referee Toby Gibson just really giving a look at the right side of his face. I don't know what he might start to figure out, but like I said, the problem is Bazan keeps throwing like right there. Okay, that's, that's enough, right? No, no, I think, you have a lot, you have a lot I of think they're going to stop. We should stop it, no? Maduro. Harder, harder. Press harder. That's good, that's good. It's good, man. Uh, uh, man, this guy's got some guts. Well, some people from Press Row are wanting Toby to stop it. Even his own corner may want Bazan to call it a day. And I'm beginning to get that feeling. I give him, I give Bazan so much credit for what I've seen tonight. Courage and heart. He doesn't want to stop, but I think that Toby. He's just about to. Toby Gibson, he just said if he clocks him with a good left, I'm going to stop it. Exactly. And Bazan wanted to give it one more whirl here in the 11th round. Championship rounds. Wants to feel like a champ. That's it. There, that's what he was waiting for, and uh, Bazan just doesn't agree. Look. It's about honor. Uh, it's about courage and honor. First. I tell you what, it, it was it was getting the point that I was beyond yeah. uncomfortable. How about you, Mario? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I just I love the heart of this man. Ago. He's a credit Very to the sport. Very courageous, but it was unnecessary. He's a credit to this sport. He was not going to quit. Uh, but he's in against a young lion right now. I think people are beginning to get the idea. I mean, he made Cesar Bazan tonight look like he just didn't have it, and Cesar Bazan has got plenty. <laughs> 